Hello friends a warm welcome to you all to this new episode of Super Water Talks On this show we dissect the waste water inquiries we receive from our customer care number or our email id and we try to present them as a solution here Today we have an interesting case from a seafood industry effluent treatment plant. Let us see what our client has to say. Sir, this is regarding Vera Seafood Industries ETP. We recently obtained approval from the food authority, but due to the approval process, our production was halted for 90 days, resulting in no effluent being generated during that period. Now that production has resumed, we are facing an issue where the aeration tank water is not settling. The plant also has an anaerobic digestion stage. Kindly advise on the corrective measures we should take on this. Okay, thank you sir. Thank you for writing to us. So, to summarize this call, what the client has to say, I'll put it in this way. The client is operating a seafood industry effluent treatment plant which has a USBR followed by an aeration tank. And for 90 days the whole production was stopped because they were obtaining some food license approval so the, there was no effluent coming in the USBR and the aeration tank but now the production has started so effluent has started coming and the aeration tank biology is not set up so the MLSS is not settling and the direct uh, BOD COD load is coming into the aeration tank the USBR is not performing so we have to dissect this and solve it as a problem let us see what the solution will be Firstly let us understand what the root cause of this problem is so the production was stopped for 90 days as a result there was no effluent in the USBR for almost 90 days that's a pretty long period that means the active biomass within this period was washed off or was eaten or digested by itself so there is no active healthy biomass in the USBR to digest the incoming effluent and all the load is although coming to the USBR but it is not getting digested it is just simply passing like a tank and the all load is getting transferred to the aeration tank the aeration tank is not designed as per capacity to handle all the BOD COD because USBR take take a significant part of the load and digest it so here the root cause is that the USBR biomass was not set Now let us see what the solution will be. So the solution here is to first establish a healthy biomass in the USBR and for the same there are a few techniques and tips we can provide. Firstly we must have two products in our stock which are super CH4 which is our methanogenic culture and gives a very high commissioning rate and a quick recovery to any kind of anaerobic digester and the second is super nutrients which are macro and micro nutrients in a powder formulation which also help in the whole anaerobic digestion process now these two products should be used in the digester and the correct operating conditions like a good temperature about 37 degrees celsius the vfa and alkalinity should be within 0.2 to 0.4 and this should be done so that the usbr gets to function again now when the usbr functions it can take almost 70 to 80% of the bod load so that reduced load is now transferred to the aeration tank and in the aeration when you are already receiving a low load you can easily set it up and easily get a good result in the aeration also there are two major products which you can use one is super 24 which will give a well settling biomass and the other is oxy super which will help increase the dissolved oxygen and give a very crystal clear water quality if you are also facing similar issues do not worry do write to us we will be very happy to solve it for you till then wishing you all the best thank you and jai hind